take a look at the SA160C Mini Compact Stand Aid. It's been designed to assist patients from a seating position to a standing position for those who have limited upper body strength or limited weight bearing capabilities. It's ideal for the acute environment or for the home sector, especially when space is a premium. It boasts of a 160 kg or 25 stone safe working load. Now let's take a look at some of the features and benefits. Let's start from the bottom. As you can see, there is a small footprint. This is ideal through narrow doorways or where space is a premium. It has four multi-directional casters, which makes it easy to manoeuvre during a transfer. The two rear casters are lockable, which ensures a safe transfer. The foot plate. The foot plate has toe protectors, which is soft for the patient's feet and also two anti-slip strips, which ensures the patient's feet stay still while during the transfer. It's also removable because you can do it for great training. To ensure we can get safe or get close to the patient, we have a powered leg opening option. And as you can see, this will allow us to get around a toilet, a commode, a rise recliner chair to ensure we end um, a safe passage. The leg support. The leg support is quite versatile. It's been designed to bring the support to the patient and not patient to the support. And we do that by having it quite adaptable. First of all, we can lift it vertically, or we can have it horizontally. And then once we've brought the support to the patient to ensure full support throughout the transition, either sitting or standing, it will actually rot and move with the legs. The material is extremely wipeable, so it's infection control friendly. And the padding is very, very soft. And you'll notice there's a large surface area here to always offer maximum support for each individual patient. It's also very wide because some people have narrow legs or some people have the legs wider and you'll find this will fit to the majority of your patients. Okay, now we're getting to the top of the SA160C Mini. What I'm going to talk about now is this centre section, which is also known as the trombone section. This is the piece of the section that actually lifts the patient. As you can see, there are two loops here where you attach your belt. Two handles for convenience for if the patient wants to put the hand on there or not put the hand on there, or they can use the side of the rail here. Again, this has been designed very similar to the leg support where you can take the equipment to the, to the patient and then bring it back. So essentially what we do is this is adjustable. And what we do is we put this to the patient, we put on our loops to lift the patient, and then we would pull this back. Once that tension has been taken up, we use these two locking nuts, and that secures for the lift. Now let's look at the actuator and the battery. Let's cover the actuator first. The actuator is easily accessible and visible for the engineers and the users. And I say the users is because if, for example, you've got somebody in a standing position and you cannot return this back down, we have an emergency lower here. And that is a manual process. That's just as a backup. The battery. This comes obviously with the handset. It's a Linac off-boarding system. So therefore you can take the battery away and put another one in its place and to be off charging. Quite popular all around. It comes with an emergency stop, also in red, and also there is a display screen. And that will either show you your battery life and how many lifts you've actually done. If, for example, you are in a situation where you damage the handset, which is easily done. You have these two overriding buttons, which allows you to 
So power the unit either to get somewhere to stand or alternatively, if you need to sit them back safely, you can drop them back down. And all you need is an imp a small implement to press them two buttons.